started this project with a question. How would COVID shape the next generation of physicians? In June of 2020, more than 30,000 students graduated med school and started their medical training on the front lines of the pandemic. The best place to meet them turned out to be Instagram. Every year, fourth year med students find out where they matched for their residency. And when they find out, they post on social media. One of them, a thoughtful, outgoing woman from LA stood out from the start, Dr. Paloma Marin Navarez, and she was about to start her medical training in Fresno. It's a city in California's agricultural Central Valley, and already it was a hotspot for COVID. We started talking every couple of weeks, often late in the evening after her hospital shift had ended or on one of her rare days off. And in between, she sent me audio diaries that she recorded on her cell phone. It's been a long time since I have been out of the hospital and been able to see the sunlight. When I would just be going about my daily life, thinking about my own COVID risks, I would think about how much greater Paloma's risks probably were at that very moment. And when she'd go quiet for a week or so and she stopped texting, I worried that maybe it was because she wasn't doing so well. She was just so insightful about this immense experience she was having. She described to me in detail what it felt like to be treating all of these patients in the ICU who were dying of COVID. In normal times, my reporting process would be to drive down to Fresno and record Paloma in person. But because of COVID, the hospital wouldn't let reporters in. And that meant Paloma had to become the radio reporter herself. I sent her a high quality audio recorder so she could document her own experiences, even the sounds inside the hospital. Paloma was a superstar, and it was those recordings that she made that really brought the story to life. 